Welcome to the Hugo Build Time News, all the news that fits in Hugo's Build Time, brought to you by Cloud Cannon. And now, at human speed. Since my last video, we've reached version 0.133.0 of Hugo. This version brings experimental server-side math rendering using Kartec, block quote markdown render hooks, and support for GitHub-style alert syntax. Scheduling content updates and rebuilds can be a time-consuming task. Mani Kumar's worked out a solution that leverages Hugo's JSON endpoints and third-party services to create an intelligent rebuild scheduling system for your website. Ryan Cowles talks us through using Python to manipulate data locally, generate visualizations with Plotly, and then export the figures as JSON to display on your Hugo site. Collecting form submissions from static sites doesn't have to be hard. Burke Chubuk has built out static ninja forms with a solid free tier. Without a backend, you can collect submissions, get notified, and easily export your submissions. If you have encountered issues with Hugo's RSS feature, or you want to extend or tweak your own RSS feed, check out TNV Martav's simple solution. And speaking of simplicity, what's your minimal sane Hugo setup? Ulysses Carrion has shared his, writing, I've set this up a million times and always forget how it's done. I have a similar set of instructions on my desktop. Showcase time, and for the third US presidential election in a row, Hugo is powering vote.gov. Good news for fans of democracy and fast websites. If you're looking for a Hugo CMS for a client site, Cloud Cannon's Git-based CMS could be your answer. With collaborative editing and full support for Hugo shortcodes, editors can build new pages and edit them visually with live preview URLs. And that's all for today. Please get in touch if you've got a Hugo tutorial tip or a new site to show off. I'd love to share your work. Thanks.